Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up your Toshiba copier to scan to a shared folder on your Windows computer. Now I'm going to be using a newer Toshiba model, but it sh the process should work pretty much the same on all the models. Uh, the older ones will just look a little different, but the process is pretty much the same. Uh, so before we begin, uh, I need to point out a few things. First off, you need to have your Toshiba copier on your network and you need to know the IP address assigned to the copier. Now, if you haven't assigned an IP address to your copier yet, uh, pause this video and go to this, the description uh, below and I have a link on how to assign an IP address to your copier. Uh, the next thing I uh, need to talk about is turning on all your sharing features on Windows. Uh, so the way you do that is there's several ways to get there, but I think the easiest way is to just click on start, go to settings, wait for it to open, click on network and internet, scroll down a little till you get network and sharing center. From here, we're going to click on change advanced sharing settings. And starting with the top arrow, uh, make sure we have all this turned on. Make sure you turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing. Go to the next one here, turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing again. And go to the third one and make sure this is on. And you could leave it at 128, most likely that's where it's going to default. Uh, and then I keep my password protection off. You can keep it on, whatever. It's not going to affect anything. Now, when you're done with this, you're going to uh, click on Save Changes. Mine's grayed out because I haven't done any changes. Okay, so exit out of here. Uh, then the next very, very, very important thing is to check your SMB settings on your Windows computer. You, I can't tell you how many people rip their hair off trying to figure out what's going on, what's going on, and it all boils down to the SMB settings. So come over to the search box, type in turn Windows features on and off, click on that. This box is going to open up. I'm going to make it a little bigger here so you can see it. Now from here, you're going to search for SMB. Now I don't know why, but sometimes Windows updates turns this feature off. I, I can't explain why, but uh, it does. So you always have to check this if you have any issue scanning after you set it up. Um, I suggest you come to SMB because most likely the update turned it off. So put a check mark on SMB. And now click on the little plus sign to the left of it and make sure all three of these are checked off. If you're an advanced IT tech and there's a reason why you want to keep one of these off, it's you know it's it's up to you. But for those uh, not so savvy IT um, people out there, just go ahead and keep them all three on and hit OK. Now remember, you have to reboot your computer. You can get you. You can't just keep going without re rebooting. You're going to have an option that says reboot later. You have to reboot in order for that to work. Okay. So don't forget that. So exit out of here. Now let's uh, begin the process. So um, what first thing I want to do is create a user for this PC. So we got to go into our control panel. There's several ways to get there, but uh, just, you know, this is the easiest way to do it. Go to control panel, click on users or user accounts, and then click on user accounts again. Now click on manage another account. Now let's create a new user here. So uh, we're going to scroll down to say add uh, someone else to this PC. So that someone else we're going to name it. Well, let's get past this step first. So you don't want to create a Microsoft account. Just just put I don't have a personal sign in information. Hit next. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to click on that. And then uh, again, click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Now this user we're going to call Toshiba. You can call it anything you want, but I think it's easier just to remember if you ever see why we have a user Toshiba. Uh, password, I'm going to keep the password default of the Toshiba copier, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can put any password you want on it. It doesn't matter. And then, unfortunately, we have to answer all these questions. So, um, first, uh, pet name, I'm just going to put Waldo. Trust me, you're never going to need this again. The city you were born in, I'm just going to put OC, even though that's not a city. Third question, what was your nickname? Well, let's just call it Waldo. Next. Okay, so now we're going to get out of here. Um, we're going to get out of here. 
Okay, now we're going to go over to our C drive, our main drive of the computer, and create a folder on that. Okay, so let me move my uh, box here. Okay, so here we go. Um, so your main drive is most likely going to be your C drive. I have two drives in this computer, so uh, mine C and D. I'm going to put mine in the D, okay? So I'm going to create a new folder here and call it my scans. You can call it what you want, but I suggest you just keep it simple. We're going to right click on this. We're going to go to properties, click on sharing, and click on share. Now we're going to find that Toshiba user we created, which is right here. We're going to add, and we need to make sure that we have read and write clicked. Okay, this is very important. If you don't have this, then the Toshiba is not going to be able to write to the folder. So don't forget to do this. Click on share, done. Go to advanced sharing, go to permissions, and we're going to add that Toshiba. I spell that right. There you go. And you, if you want, you can click check name, make sure it finds it, and hit OK. So now the the name is going to be here under the user names. Now make sure you put a check mark on all three of these. If you put one on the first one, all three are going to show up there. So make sure you hit apply, OK, and then you hit apply again, and OK. And then you're going to close. Now, uh, before we close, I always like to go back in there and just to make sure that all the settings are right. Okay, so if it is here, just click cancel, go to advanced settings, go to permissions, highlight Toshiba, make sure all the check marks, and just hit cancel. Okay, so cancel again. Now, copy and paste this. We're going to need this in a little bit. Okay, so uh, right click, I mean, highlight the whole thing and right click and click copy. Okay, and then close here okay now we're going to close that in here as well okay so now we're going to uh, this is where we need the to know the ip address of the copy so we're going to open up our browser uh, i'm using chrome you can use anything you want now in the url we're going to type in the ip address of the copier this is the ip address of my copier so once you're in here we're going to log in that admin okay so we're going to go to the top right here we're going to click login username is admin lowercase password going to the default password to toshiba copiers is one two three four five six and hit login if yours doesn't work that means somebody changed it somebody changed the admin password and you're going to have to reset that unfortunately and um you might have to call a tech to help you with that so uh assuming that you uh are logged in let's move forward we're going to click on administration click on um, save as file scroll down to where it says use network folder destination make sure you click on that scroll down a little more and make sure you have a check mark on remote one you're probably going to have it on two you can uncheck this one you don't really need to have this one uh, and make sure you have allow users to select network folders to be used okay this is important on the older machines you're going to find it here in the bottom underneath uh, this section so you're going to click on that okay and what we could do here let me see here real quick so once you have that selected you're going to scroll back up and or on the top you're going to see save make sure you click save and it's going to say are you sure hit okay now we're done okay don't forget to hit save now next step we're going to do is we're going to go to registration we're going to select public templates and here it's going to be most likely empty on your end. If not, then you can just manually delete them all. So click on the first box, click on scan. It automatically puts the folder on scan as file, select agent. Now you have two options. Well, you have three options here, but uh, the two are the ones that we're going to work with. Panel settings is really what you want the copier to say uh, when you walk up to it. That way you know which destination. Let's say you, you want to set up the scan to uh, receptionist. You will put scan to reception. Or scan to your computer, you'll put scan to your computer. So this is just what you want it to say when you walk up to the machine. So I'm just going to put scan to me and hit save. Now, save as file setting. This is the destination of the folder. This is where I had you. Let me open this up a little. This is where I had you uh, copy and paste the network folder we created earlier. So 
uh, where you're going to select is remote one. You could leave this on if you want. I would probably turn this off because it's really just sending a copy to the hard drive of your copier and you don't want to overload it. Uh, so I would uncheck this unless there's a specific reason why you want to save it to the copier's hard drive. Uh, and once you do that, you're going to select here the network path. This is where we're going to paste that path that we uh, that I had you copy earlier. Login is going to be the Toshiba name. This is the user we created. And the password is going to be the 123456 password we created or whatever password you created. And there you have it. So moving along, make sure you click save and make sure you click save again. You have to hit it twice, okay? And guess what, guys? We are done. Now let's walk up to the copier and do our first scan. Okay, guys, I'm walking up to my Toshiba copier now. Here it is. All right, so from the home, let me make sure there's no reflection here. Okay, so from the home screen, you're gonna select scan. You're gonna touch templates public templates and there's the folder I created scan to me and uh, you could either put a document on top of the document feeder or on the glass whatever you prefer uh, I'm just gonna put it on the glass and simply hit scan now when you put it on the glass uh, you're just gonna select jaw finish but when you use it on the document feeder it's not gonna have the jaw finish so there you have it guys good luck hope everything works for you